right? And so both need to keep on balance. Uh, if your balance is, is compromised, then there's every chance that they're going to be able to take you over. And the last place you want to be is on the ground with a man who's got a knife. Right? So make sure that you, you, you really got to make sure that you stay on balance the whole time. Just come from. So once you've done your initial strike, uh, and you lock them up here, and you've got them nice and tight, I've got this arm lock on, and I turn around here, uh, and I pull them around in this direction, to where my balance is still. I'm still, I'm still in my strong stance. Uh, I've, I've no compromised my balance at all. The idea is I want to destroy his posture and uh, destroy his balance whilst at the same time maintaining my posture and keeping my balance. As soon as both of us are on, off balance, it becomes a fight again. Uh, so it's important that your balance is good and his is destroyed. Uh, so there they are. He's struck and he goes out. I'm still on balance. Uh, if, I, if I go down, I'm just if I go down, I'll, I'll bend to the knees and not to the back. So, yeah, so as I'm going down well, I'm not bending forward like this, I'm bending to the knees. So that when I do get him into this position, it's just a case of putting this knee at the back of your shoulder yeah, and working him in. So I can do that this walk on, take that knife off him, I can keep him controlled here. Yeah, so there's nowhere he can go. Okay, so balance is paramount. Always take his balance, maintain yours. Exactly the same as doing any phone technique. Uh, you've got to take your balance first before you can throw them. Yeah? Okay. Right, one more thing. Right. What you do is just try it 